Hey guys, Jared Wegland here from Focus Group Florida, Keller Williams Realty. Focus Homes, your local custom home builder, and Focus Remodels when you love where you live and you want to make it better. <clears throat> All right, it's been a busy week. It's actually girls' night out happening at the moment, but I needed to get with you with our real estate stats to see what's happening in our local market. Central Florida real estate days on the market drops about 30% to only 36 days. Pricing is up by 1.83% year over year. Let's get the full story. This week in Lakeland, the average home sold was a three bedroom, two bathroom home for 1713 square feet. That size is slightly down from last week. The average days on the market went from 52 to 36. That's almost a 30% drop. That's pretty huge. However, this is a weekly number, so it has been in the 40 to 45 day range pretty consistently for quite a long time. So let's see what happens next week, but that's a really good indicator that homes are coming off the market faster. The sold price compared to the list price is steady at 98%. Our list price per square foot went up to 195.97, and our average sold price per square foot went up to 192.39. The list price uh, went down slightly, on average to 336,162, and the average sold price went down slightly to 329,692 compared to last week. However, when we compare the same week last year, we're 1.83% higher. So in our particular market, we have more buyers than we have sellers, so this actually makes sense. All right, if we look at the stats for the week for listings, our new listings in Lakeland went up to 80. Our sold went down slightly to 90, and our new pending stayed about the same at about 88. So our new listings compared to our percentage of new pendings was 90.9%. That means that we had uh, fewer uh, new pendings, um, I'm sorry, fewer new listings come on the market to replace the pendings that were taken off the market. So that means a slight shrinkage in the market in Lakeland specifically. However, if we look at the county, 106% of the new pendings were replaced by new listings. So we're putting slightly more homes back into inventory than taken off in the county as a whole. So our new listings were up to 427. New sold, uh, sold listings were up to 356 for the county. And our new pendings went down just slightly. So it's almost the same as last week at 402. That 400 number is a decent number. Uh, as far as our canceled, withdrawn, and expired listings, they're almost identical to last week. So nothing to report there. Our monthly housing supply is at 2.63 months. Six months, if you recall, is equilibrium. So we definitely have a shortage. We only have 44% of the homes that we need locally. So that means for every 44 homes for sale, there's 100 buyers. Now, having said that, and that's very heavily in the seller's column category, um, we're still seeing homes, if they're not fixed, if they're not moving ready, and um, there's projects, then those ones sit around a little bit more than those that are ready to go. People are, are spending money to get into these homes. They really don't want to have project fixes uh, upon entering. Uh, so we're, we're noticing that on a local level. Also, almost all of the listings that I am currently in the closing process, either new roof, new AC, new water heater, electrical repairs, the insurance um, companies are a little bit tighter than they were, and they're requiring these systems to be in excellent shape to get reasonable homeowner's insurance. So that's another thing that you may want to consider uh, as you're uh, thinking about listing, listing your home to sell. Our active listings um, went up slightly, and our listings that had a price drop actually went down. For the county, about 10% less listings had a price improvement as compared to last week. So lots going on in the, in the local market here in Central Florida. If you're on YouTube, look down in the description, ask about our home swap program. It's absolutely fantastic. It allows you to buy your next house first sell your current house last, not have two payments, potentially have some money to fix up your old home, and it just makes the whole moving process easier and less stressful. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. If you have any questions about real estate, remodeling, or new builds, uh, make sure you reach out. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.